of the Decepticons! You will do exactly as I say! Scream. How fitting to have you by my side, as I finally take my revenge on the one responsible for my 50 stellar cycles of helplessness and humiliation. Does anyone else have a problem with my leadership? No, we're fine. Never! Decepticons! Transform and rise up! He meant no! I ordered you to await my command! Instead, your mindless agenda resulted in the disabling of my ship and the delay of my plans! My intentions were pure, Master. I only wanted you to be rid of Optimus. No one rids me of Optimus Prime but me. Do you understand? Do you? Lord Megatron. Remember our agreement, Megatron. The Earth is to be mine when you are through with it. It will be. What's left of it? <laughs> You're nothing better than a common thief. Soon enough, I'll be ruler of the universe. I care not what vermin like you think of me. We don't have time for this, Megatron. The game is over, Megatron. On the contrary, Optimus Prime, I still have a trump card to play. Autobots, hold your fire. We cannot endanger the humans. You disappoint me, Prime! I never dreamed you'd let a few worthless flesh creatures stand in the way of attacking us! What do you want now, Starscream? Only to wish you luck, my liege. I do not believe in luck. It would seem I swatted a bee and squashed a bug. Megatron, today you answer for your crimes against Cybertron and against humanity. One shall stand and one shall fall. You, Optimus Prime! Nobody else is gonna follow you either! Foolishly gallant Wheeljack. Your selfless action will cost you your function cycle. With I can sense. I can tell you that! <laughs> Who cares? I will crush them into you and me pies! No, destroy them last. So they can watch their pitiful adopted world perish before their eyes. This can't be happening! Shuttle for launch. Now, all we need is a little energon and a lot of luck. More than you imagine, Optimus Prime. The games are done well. Yes, perhaps they should lead us. You test my patience, Starscream. Why, if it is <laughs> You have persistence, Autobot. 
I hate persistence. You and your beast would do well to remember. I hone my skills in the pits of Kaon! But that's not enough electrical power to make the Energon cubes! Your knowledge is only overshadowed by your stupidity, Starscream. Lord we are Megatron, going to create... the Autobots are up to something. Really, Starscream? Crush them! Besides, why would it be ours? Because Megatron's pride would never allow anyone other than himself to rule this planet. You know me all too well, Optimus. You lead an army... It's not the best you could do, Starscream. And to think you actually believed you could take over as leader of the Decepticons. You couldn't lead a parade. Make sure he's offline this time. Don't push me, Megatron. My desire for power is as great as yours. Power flows to the one who knows how. Desire alone is not enough. Time hey, you all think? I know. And I must find out what that vessel contained. When it comes to the secrets of the ancients, knowledge can be power. Engineering your robotic technology, I know how to disrupt your equilibrium sensors. Your Achilles heel, if you will. Your work is clever, human, but far too superficial. Armor plating and server mechanics, you know nothing of the spark at the core of all Cybertronians. Let's see how you like being crushed under this Achilles heel. Resting comfortably, Starscream? Despite the extent of your injuries, my medical staff assures me that you shall make a rapid recovery. Hopefully every bit as rapid as your wrath is swift. <coughs> <laughs> And how swiftly things change. To think that but a short time ago, it was you who were standing here, while I was lying there, right after your failed attempt to terminate me. But know this, dear Starscream. Our position shall never again be reversed. This time you have dared too much, Starscream. You must pay the price for your insolence! Can't stand! You're losing your warriors, Megatron! Warriors are expendable! The most important thing is that I get what I deserve! And I always do! Wait! We're opening up a direct path into our base with Megatron standing right there? And seriously, he's gonna risk his own spark to save us. <laughs> Hardly my nature. So we were expected here after all. And I insist that you stay forever. Let's come to officially initiate you both into the ranks of the Decepticons. Now, repeat after me. I pledge my unquestioning loyalty to Megatron and the Decepticon cause. I shall devote my spark to achieving our goal of a Decepticon-controlled Cybertron by any means necessary. And annihilate all who have driven us from our rightful homeworld. Welcome, brave Decepticons. Your destiny awaits. Oh, no, you don't. Not this time. This time I'll blast more than your shoulder. Ironhide, look out. Thanks for helping me, Optimus. Don't mention it. Now to finish you both. Not so fast, Megatron. My foot 
It's cut. Yes, making it easier to cut you down the sides. I now know what I must do. <laughs> and what can I do to assist you, Master? Quit groveling and await my command. Their defenses are broken! Let the slaughter begin! The sword stay with me, pal! Now get your microprocessors out here! <laughs> Want to play the hard way, do you? Well, suits me just fine. I'd love the chance to initialize your disc. <gasps> Our guest is currently in isolation to help ease his transition. But when Orion Pax emerges, he is to be shown every courtesy. And the first to address him is Optimus Prime. We'll have their voice box torn out. Lord Megatron, is it wise to allow an Autobot, current or former, full run of the premises? Nothing happens aboard this ship without my knowledge. You would do well to remember that, Arachnid. But there's no need for concern. Destroy them! Destroy the Guardians! You've caused enough destruction for one day, Megatron. I haven't even started! Sensitive! Smashing stuff is fun! Thick bolted moron. Let me crush that smile off your face. As you must certainly be aware, we know the location of your current base. Accept my offer, and I will allow your fellow Autobots and human pets to remain unharmed. My liege, you aren't really going to allow the Autobots to remain operational. Of course not. Assemble your armada, Starscream, and decimate their base once again. I've waited four million stellar cycles for this. With the power of the Old Spark, I will reclaim Cybertron for all Decepticon kind. But not before I lay waste to the miserable world that held me captive for so long. Uh, handle this fool for me. You never learn, Megatron. <laughs> You'll never try it. <laughs> well, if I'm not mistaken, never has arrived. <laughs> Fellow Decepticons, take heed. Your leader, Megatron, still lives. Though we remain dispersed throughout the far reaches of the galaxy, exiled from our true home, we are all still Decepticons, united by a common purpose. The time has come for us to put aside our differences and act as one under my undisputed leadership. Only then can we cast off the shackles of Autobot oppression. Working together, we can raise up our glorious empire once more. And crush all who stand in our way! You to hide behind an Autobot, Megatron. But it's completely like you to hide behind an army of cheap knockoffs. Pro Clones. Well played, Starscream. If you're even here among your underlings. Underlings? We are as one, though many. Bring me Starscream's head on a stick, and I will reward you as my second in command. All of you. No, you are trying to trick us. Am I? Is he? Accept my proposal, and we all win. Otherwise, you will merely end up terminating each other to get the spoils. It is your nature, after all. Fire on three. One, two. 
What was that? The sound of the tables turning. <laughs> Exterminating you was so gratifying the first three times. We talked about it. Is it true that you ordered the annihilation of my army? Indeed. And my only mistake was not seeing the extermination through. Joe, Earth would be next, if not first. What assurance do I have that you would leave humankind be, and that you wouldn't instantly terminate me once you get what you need? None whatsoever. After all, we both know that as a Decepticon, any assurances I might offer would be worthless. Can you feel the transformation? Soon you will be a Decepticon Inferno! Sorry, but I shall remain on Autobot until the end of time! Hmm. Wanna bet? <laughs> Every last trace of Energon extracted? Lord Megatron, I can explain. Explain what? That you've been hoarding a supply of Energon for your personal use? No, not exactly. You see, I just... Do not take me for a fool, Starscream! <laughs> I have been wise to your transgressions from the beginning. Not only did you pluck the dark Energon from my chest in a failed attempt to snuff my spark, but you tried to raise your own undead warrior with it. It's no secret that you lost an arm in the process, which you've since had replaced. You know about that? Soundwave is quite competent at surveillance, I can assure you. The fact is, Starscream, despite your treachery, I've allowed you to carry on this long because I took a certain delight in following your string of failures. But you finally become tiresome, predictable. You've hit rock bottom. <laughs> My destiny! This isn't how it's supposed to end! On the contrary, Megatron. I could not have allowed this to end otherwise. that you put it, Optimus. I could not have allowed this to end otherwise. <laughs> Let that be a warning to anyone who dares cross a gladiator of Kaon. Be they Decepticon, into our base with Megatron standing right there? And seriously, he's gonna risk his own spark to save us. <laughs> Hardly my nature, which was done to our own. One question, Megatron. Why are we called Decepticons? Another Craven Autobot scare tactic. The name was meant to demonize us. Instead, we wear it as a badge of honor. For if speaking the truth is deception, then we are gladly guilty. So now please. Oh, re <laughs> you big scaredy <laughs> No, no, child. I will show you true fear. Dreadwing, do I have your word?
The Autobots were prepared to sacrifice themselves for my planet. I'll do the same for theirs. Perhaps we should oblige them. A job, and don't decision. try and play coy with me! I have nothing to say to you! No? All right then, enough, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> my new domain new kaon or perhaps gilded earth a scream that it has gone unnoticed that you left me at the mercy of the autobots <laughs> master are you going to allow one lieutenant to harm another master i'm thinking to impress doctor we may be mortal enemies but Autobots and Decepticons do share one common goal. You would like to see the ruins of our devastated homeworld restored to their former brilliance, as would I. Megatron, you would just try to conquer Cybertron all over again and enslave anyone who refuses to pledge allegiance to you. Of course I would. Don't work. And you're... I'll be back. Better than ever. A hero to the end. Pathetic Autobot. Now bear witness as a new era dawns on Cybertron. mechanical morons attempting to attack me, Squidhead? I wish he wouldn't call me that anymore. How would he like to be called Flathead? <laughs> so why don't you share your little joke with everyone? I wasn't uh, laughing, sir. <laughs> Flathead? Boy, I can really dish it out. <laughs> you are a freak. Lord Megatron, if you would just allow me to explain things. No. Allow me to explain things in a manner which I know you'll understand. <gasps> Optimus, that you shall take to your grave. Win by any means, at any cost. Even if it means terminating you, Starscream. Lord Megatron, you are... Uh, you're healed. Praise the old spark. It is a miracle. Oh, it will be a miracle, all right, Starscream, if you survive what I have planned for you. That's Optimus right there, waiting for you. My greatest mistake? I've made a few. But there is one I do not intend to make again. <laughs> no, Master! A brand new weapon, a gift from the cyber planet key of Earth. You should feel honored. And now, goodbye.
Destroy the Prime! I command you! Megatron is commanded by no one! That's the spirit. But I was a champion of the pits of Chaos not only due to my savage might, but also my cunning! You should have heeded my advice and faced me as a beast! It's almost too easy, Starscream! Much easier, Almighty Megatron, than attacking the real threat, the Autobots' root base! You're an idiot, Starscream! When we slip by their early warning systems in their own shuttle and destroy Autobot City, the Autobots will be vanquished forever! No! Such heroic nonsense! Defended at all costs. If Optimus Prime wishes to wage a battle for the fate of both Earth and Cybertron, then I shall oblige him. This will be our last stand.